the capstone um, concept um, took a couple of years to get off the ground, and the idea was for to, to kind of create a space for students to be innovative in applying some of the skill sets that they had been building during their kind of K-12 experience. And, and the Shark Tank event uh, would, would be, in many ways, this validating op, you know, experience that, that kids had. This innovative new means of control will lower the age and skill threshold of drug life and provide a more immersive experience. This course gives them that chance to touch, to think, um, to solve problems in a lot of different areas, different disciplines that you can't get just sitting in a math class only, or an English class only, or a biology class. You're bringing a lot of different science and English and math skills all together in one course. All you need to do is flip a switch and pull a pin. So sharks, are you ready to help us save lives at the Fulton Emergency Beach? It's hard to get more real world than this, that someone comes in with basically an idea and says, this is what I'm working on, will you give me money? I mean, that's my job. <laughs> and so that's kind of what we're seeing happen on stage, right? And really, that's what you do, and no matter what your line of work, at some point, you have to go in front of someone and say, I have this idea, and I need money to implement my idea. And it doesn't have to be that you're an entrepreneur to do that. You, you do that in almost every walk of life. Teachers have to do that, <laughs> even. So, so it's, a, it's a very real world it's non thing. non-profit, stuff like that. Uh, and actually, it is definitely nonprofit. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. So they uh, making they a pitch, reflect. trying to make a persuasive argument, and having venture capitalists come in and say to your face and in front of your peers, "You're not doing it right." Um, maybe not quite that harsh, but saying, "Hey, you really need to think about this." But probably most importantly, you have to be able to write and speak effectively. That is absolutely critical. This course makes relevant those communication skills that we are developing in our humanities classes. And I see a natural integration of the humanities in this course and perhaps partnerships with our humanities program uh, going forward. Keeping everybody safe is our top priority. And using this device, we intend to innovate a product that will change the way safety is viewed in the woodshop and the workplace. It's not only just being passionate and expressing yourself, but it's learning how to do that effectively in a way that um, it gets your message across in the way that you want it to be perceived. You also have to be willing to mess up. Like, you have to expect that that's going to happen. And you have to learn from it and grow. And for many people, they do struggle with it, but it's definitely a learning experience you'll never get again. So I think there's always a place for a community member who has a knowledge in something to pass that on to someone else. So and as far as from a value to a community, this is the future. And I am starting to believe that for some or many of the mentors, the experience is you know, mutually invigorating. So they come in and they get to work with young people and they get to share some of their exciting stories and their experiences and the kids really respond to that. Um, so I think if we can do a little bit locally, hopefully it spreads, it becomes a little more viral. You see more things like this happening, not just throughout New Hampshire, but New England, the country. This is a, this is a really good thing that we're doing here for the kids.